Ending the year on a sweet note, Chendo, the lovely dessert uh, tutorial. Hi, as 2020 comes to an end, I really want to wish all of you um, a happy 2021. We can't get, we can't wait to get rid of 2020, to be honest. I'm very happy to get, to see the back of 2020. It has been a year where we uh, are used to new words. Words like quarantine, circuit breaker, movement control, super spreader, asymptomatic, flattening the curve, zoom, all zoomed out, frontline workers, social distancing, virtual happy hour, contact tracing, furlough, herd immunity, travel bubble, COVID. -19. So for 2021, I want to wish you a fantastic artistic 2021. That you get to play with the best art material. That you find a group of people, a membership that you can hang on to, that you can nurture your artistic skills. Uh, you get to read some good books, talk to some uh, mentors in the art world uh, to further develop your artistic mind. Uh, you find a motivation to do the art that you want to do. And finally, to develop the muscles of the artistic, the artistic muscles that will carry you through to develop uh, your skills further and to create wonderful art. So that's what I wish for you in 2021. And here's the final tutorial for the year. So let me just uh, go through quickly my materials. Uh, Palamino Blackwing, uh, two Escoda brushes, uh, and they are size four and size eight. Uh, I use them quite a bit these days. Um, and of course, um, the 16 color palette, uh, you can find more information in the linked video. And uh, a white uh, gel pen, uh, as well as uh, my opaque white from Copic mixer, spritzer, and I think that's the material that I'm using for this uh, tutorial. So as usual, I always start with my pencil outline. Um, you do need to just make sure you have the broad shape uh, covered. I start with the broad bowl outline, then I go to the details of the beans and the other bits and bobs, uh, the green color bits, light green, light yellow uh, bits and bobs on top of the dessert. Chendo is this very sweet dessert uh, that, uh, you know, Singaporean, Malaysian, I think there are some parts of Thailand and even Myanmar uh, and as well as Indonesia uh, enjoy. So it's uh, made of a sweet uh, sh sugary syrup with uh, beans, in this case the red beans, and some jelly parts um, and so on. Right? So and there are different combinations in different parts of uh, this, the world that serve this dessert. Um, I put a first layer of shadows, uh, the tray as well as the shadow of the bowl, including the shadow side of the bowl. Uh, I also put a bit of shadow colors underneath the uh, uh, the uh, the beans and then I looked at the yellow the, the blue lines uh, which I use cobalt uh, to paint the bowl and uh, that is just uh, to give it you know uh, the, the outline of the bowl if you like uh, including some of the shadow shape of uh, you know um, the decorative elements of the bowl I went in with a darker version of uh, shadow um, overlaying it uh, and uh, that gives the bowl um, the shaded shape, if you like. And I also want to, uh, you know, put in the uh, the reflection as well as shadow for the the spoon, um, and more shadows on the beam, on the beans. Uh, and now I begin to color the red uh, beans with red, uh, basically a combination of. Uh, Queen Rose with permanent alizarin crimson and uh, that is just to give it a first uh, wash. 
uh, light yellow, lemon yellow plus uh, green gold for the jelly parts or the bits of uh, uh, jelly parts if you like. Uh, touching up on some of the shadow parts of the dessert as well. I continue to sculpt uh, the three dimensional bits of uh, the the beans, the red beans, um, shadow colors, deeper colors of uh, the bean itself. Um, I don't, uh, I try not to overdo it, but I allow the uh, brush to dance around. Uh, I also take care of uh, the shadows underneath the beans, uh, splatter, splatter as much as I can get away with, darker reds, uh, permanent alizarim crimson on part of the beans uh, to make it three-dimensional um, and I'm allowing my brush to dance around to just you know as I observe the photograph I am just uh, touching it up to make it more uh, popped if you like three-dimensional same thing with the uh, green jelly bits and uh, that also it's about creating a bit of a three-dimensional sense uh, to the painting or the sketch if you like I'm ready to write my name I think that's about it so that's all for this tutorial uh, my last tutorial of 2020 I want to wish you a fantastic 2021 ahead uh, with all uh, the health happiness and uh, peace so uh, signing off for 2020 uh, oh before that just some touch up with the highlights before I forget with the white uh, opaque colors from Copic. That's it, signing off, bye.